everyone, my name is Cassandra Sisson, also known as O Mother, and today I'm going to be guiding you on how to use your Mirror Fertility Analyzer along with connecting it to your Mirror Fertility app. These two work together to track your hormone levels and let you know exactly when your fertile window is. This video are for moms who have the Mirror Fertility Analyzer and are looking for guidance on how to connect it to the app and get started on this very exciting process. Who is Mira for? Mira is for any couple who are looking to conceive, who are looking not to conceive, or women who simply want to track their feminine health. So if you're ready, let's jump on in and get started. Step one, let's register. So first you want to download the Mira Fertility app on your iPhone or Android device, and later create your account. Let's go ahead and download the Mira Fertility app. If you have an iPhone, you'll go to the App Store. If you have an Android, you'll go to Google Play. In the search engine, you'll put it in Mirror Fertility. And you'll see Mirror Fertility and Cycle Tracker. You're going to want to go ahead and download this app. So once you open the app, it's going to ask if you want to allow Mirror to send you notifications. You are going to want to hit allow. This is very important because Mirror will send you notifications on when you should test. You should test first thing in the morning and depending what time you wake up in the morning, it is easy to forget. So having that right on your phone, right? Majority of people always pick up their phone as soon as they wake up and seeing that it's a test reminder is going to remind you right before you enter your restroom and get started on your day. So definitely want to hit allow because you do not want to miss a day that you have to test. We'll go ahead and create an account. You can pick an email set a password you want to agree to the terms and create your account so Mira asks would you like to connect to your Bluetooth absolutely make sure to hit OK lastly they're going to confirm your account first before you get to log in so go into your email activate accounts account activation successful now we get to go back to the Mira app and let's log in So here is going to ask you, what are your goals? Is it to long your period? Are you looking to get pregnant? Or are you looking to avoid pregnancy? At the time when I was using it, I was using it to get pregnant. So let's go back to my original purpose, get pregnant. When did you start trying to conceive? I tried all the way in 2019, I was trying. I started all the way in October. My birth year, I'm all the way in 88. I'm getting old. How long are your periods? Mine last about seven days. Cycle length, mine is about 28 days. A question I receive often. Cassandra, I have not had my period in a long time. How can I set my cycle length and my period date? In this case, we recommend that you set your cycle length at the maximum of 90 days. And for your period date, select a random date. Afterwards, you're gonna to wanna to follow your testing schedule that Mira will provide to you on your calendar. And as soon as you do get your period, you will just wanna go ahead and update the correct cycle on the app so that moving forward, you're all set. Okay, so as mentioned, I am already pregnant. Thank you, Mira, but let's, for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and pick a day. My cycles are pretty regular. I always have them at the second of every month. In the event your period has not come in a long time, it's not regular, go ahead and just pick any day and then we're going to move forward with there. Once you get your period, then you'll go ahead and adjust it. But I will go ahead and say my last day, my first day of my last period was on February 3rd. So as you can see, the little red dots up here that's letting that's mirror predicting when the length of my period was I can either add on to it or take away and I'll show you how to do that later so it's con confirming everything and let's get started with Mira step two now we have the app downloaded let's go ahead and connect our Mira analyzer to the app so now it is asking us to connect so make sure that your Bluetooth is on because your Bluetooth is going to want to connect with your mirror. That is how. If you're in a house that has multiple Bluetooths or you're struggling, you might want to go to a different room or maybe even step outside so that the only Bluetooth that they're connecting to is the mirror and the phone together. So we're going to go ahead and connect. Let's turn on the screen. 
and that was it. I turned it on and it connected. That was super simple. So literally by the time you turn it on, it can connect right away. Sometimes when I first did it, it took a few extra seconds. So just give it some, some time. Do not worry. Do not rush it. As mentioned, if it takes a little longer than usual, you might want to check how many Bluetooth devices are around and maybe move to a different room so it can speed up the process. So after it's connected, it's going to guide you right away on how Miro works. So it will show you a little display kit right here. But don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and show you firsthand how to use it. So you go ahead and hit done. And then it's going to remind you, you should test at the same time each day and not drink water for at least two hours before testing. Awesome, so there is a lot going on here. So let me go ahead and break that down so it's not overwhelming because after you get used to it, this is very, very simple to understand. Step three understanding when you need to test. So remember to have your notifications on, you're going to wanna to have this on, so it reminds you when you need to test or retest in that day. So let's say you need to change the length of your period. You go to the calendar icon on the bottom. There is showing my February cycle that I implemented, but let's say it, it finished on the 8th and not the 9th. I will simply hit edit period, and I'll tap away the day that wasn't there. And that's it, then hit okay. So let's go ahead and understand what we're looking on on the today page. Today's page shows you what day of the cycle you are in right now. The red one indicates your period. The blue one here on the bottom shows your fertile days. If you go ahead and click on the question mark, it will describe what a fertility score is. A fertility score is going to score you 1 to 10 on any given day. Your goal, if you're trying to conceive as, as I was, is 8.5 and higher. Once you have that, it means the likelihood if you and your partner have intercourse, you will conceive throughout those days. If you do a one test this day, the app will show you your hormone numbers on the first screen as well. There are two numbers, your E3G levels and also your LH hormone levels. That will also be displayed here. Since I did not test today, it's showing no data, but I will go ahead and test later and it'll show you and I will show you the numbers that it shows there. If you're wondering what E3G and LH hormone levels are, make sure to check the Mirror Fertility blogs because in those blogs they give great detail on what those hormones are, how they help you conceive, how they change depending what chapter of your life you're in. Step four, how to test. So let's go ahead and test. Everything you'll need is one of the Mirror ones, the Mirror Fertility Analyzer, a urine collection cup, and a stopwatch. So from here, we'll go ahead and open. So let's go ahead and open here. You always wanna make sure that you have a fresh wand. Please do not test a wand to see by inserting it into Mira just to see if it works because the moment it reads it, it will not use it again. So you definitely do not wanna waste one of the wands. So you go ahead here. It has a max line showing to not surpass. Um, do not dip your wand in anymore past the max line there. So you're gonna, once dipping, you only wanna leave it in there between 10 to 12 seconds. So we'll go ahead and dip. What's nice, you definitely want to keep the wand facing down. What I really like about Mira is that they put a cap here so that you can insert it on the bottom and keep everything sanitary. So once you flip it, you'll go ahead and insert it into Mira. and it is going to start counting down. It takes 16 minutes to fully read everything and check all the hormones within the urine. Some things to note while testing. You do not wanna shake the wand while collecting the sample. After you inserted the wand, leave it on a flat surface. You do not wanna pick up the wand, move it around, flip it or anything because you do not wanna do anything that might alter the results of the test. These are one-time use wands. So once they've used, you go ahead and dispose of it. Every time you test, you want a new wand. So it automatically went and connected to my app. The results transmitted right over. On the left side, you'll see this green circle is going to show my E3G, which is my estrogen levels, and my LH levels, which is, which is my luteinizing hormone levels. Step five, let's log our symptoms. So step five, logging your symptoms. If you wanna log your symptoms, you go here to the bottom sign here, you hit the plus button, 
and then you're able to type in everything you want. Here is going to show your hormone testing. Once you put that in, you'll put if you had no sex, if you did, and if you use contraceptives or you did not. You put any type of cervical mucus that you have, your body temperature, body weight, any mood you may be feeling, symptoms, and notes. You're also able to customize it by hitting the plus sign on the bottom and taking off any of these that you do not want. Step six, understanding the data. So let's go ahead and understand the calendar features. So when you click on the month, I'm gonna go back to January, 2021. And this was what my month looked like. I started my period on the third and it lasted until the eighth. What you see on the bottom, the blue dots, is when they're predicting your fertile window will be. As you start testing, those dots will adjust depending what your results are. The open green circles are times that you should test. If you see once they're solid, that means I did test on those days. If we look on January 18th, we see that there is a little bubble on top. If we click on it and we look at our, my hormone test, that is when I peaked. My LH levels were at their highest, and after testing my estrogen as well, Mira came to the conclusion that on January 18th was the highest day that if I was going to try to conceive, it would be the best day to have sex. But you're able to click each day individually, look at the hormones, and check your results. So if we go back to the Today page, and I go back to January, so I started to test when they recommended. So here on January 12th, I tested and it gave me a fertility score of only two. That means that I can go ahead and have fun with my husband, but in the event that my husband and I did have sex that day and our goal was to conceive that day, it probably wouldn't happen. But as you keep going throughout the days, Wednesday, the fertility score starts to increase. And on the 18th, I had a 10. So when Mira sees that your fertility score is now at a 10, that means your hormones have risen and your LH has spiked, it's going to guide you to test twice. So usually on that day, I test in the morning and then around 6 p.m. in the evening, I always test as well to confirm. By the next day, once I tested, my LH has dropped, my fertility score dropped to a 6. So more than likely, the 18th was the day so that I can conceive. What you're looking for is the pattern. The pattern is more important than the number itself. So you can go to the curve icon on the bottom. As you can see, we're looking at the curve here. It will guide you what the colors mean on the very bottom. The light green on the bottom is my LH results and the darker blue on top are my E3G results. If you go to the question mark on the top, it will give you more details on how to understand the chart and understanding your hormone changes. Something that has changed in the app is before they used to say, when it gave you the score, it would say high, low, medium, none. The reason they took that off is because people get stuck on those words instead of the pattern. What you want to focus on is the curve. This is what's most important. Because regardless of what the numbers are, what you're looking for is the spike, not the number. Remember, hormone levels vary from woman to woman and cycle to cycle. It is important to keep in mind that the pattern of the curve is more important than the absolute value. When ovulation happens, you should see a sudden increase in the LH concentration. Although the peak value can vary greatly, you may not have to necessarily reach a high in order to ovulate. For this reason, that is why they decided to take away the none, low, medium, high feature on the new app versions. So you can only see today's fertility score. Let's say you wanna look at another date. You simply go to the top and click. You can jump right through and see the different fertility scores. You can also go on your calendar, hit the different days, look at the hormone test, and the numbers will pop up there as well. So there are some extra little features you can do by clicking the more button. Once you click there, you can shop Mira. You can purchase any more additional items that you would like. It also has some facts, so any questions you may have. It also has the about. The website, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. What's great is that when you click on here, it'll also direct you to the blogs, and those I highly recommend to check out. And your settings. It also shows your battery life, your device number, any type of updates you need to do, and disconnecting.
So I hope this video was very helpful. I have used Mirror for six months until it finally helped me conceive. So I absolutely love Mirror and I truly feel from the bottom of my heart that this pregnancy would not have happened if it wasn't for the Mirror Fertility and their app. There are many fertility systems out there, but I've done extensive research and just because of the accuracy and the preciseness and the clarity that the results give, there was really no question for me on wanting to try any other device along with any other app. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below so we can get to you or find Mira's customer service contact information below and they'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for tuning in, see you soon and we are spreading lots of love to all the couples out there that are using Mirror to conceive. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up along with following us on our social media platforms. See you soon. Mirror and myself are sending you all the love in the world. We know that with the analyzer, all the goals that you're using it for will be in reach. We cannot wait to hear your success story. Lots of love. See you soon. Goodbye.